Did you know that you may be getting some regular gas with your purchase of premium? Or perhaps a splash of ethanol with your non-ethanol fill up? It's true. Every time you squeeze the handle, you're getting a dose of whatever the last person pumped. So how much fuel actually gets left in the hose? And does it matter to your motorcycle? Let's open up the shop manual and find out. This episode is powered by DuraBoost batteries. Get 10% off your DuraBoost purchase at RevZilla.com with discount code TSMBOOST10. Maybe you've never thought about the fact that you're getting someone else's leftovers at the pump. Or maybe like me, you just don't care. But the whole how much gas gets left in the hose question is something I've heard come up a lot over the years, especially since folks started getting concerned about ethanol. The fact is, many gas pumps have one hose that serves all three grades of fuel. When you hit the button to make a selection, a manifold at the top of the pump switches to pull gas from the appropriate underground storage tank. It's a clever solution, but it means that whatever's left in the hose between the manifold and the nozzle is whatever the previous person purchased and not necessarily what you selected. So how much residue are we actually talking about? Most gas stations have 10, 12, and rarely 15 foot hoses with an industry standard inner diameter of 5 eighths of an inch. A little number crunching yields an approximate volume of 18, 24, and 30 fluid ounces in the hose, respectively, which accounts for about 4 to 5% of the total volume of your average street bike's gas tank. Now, does that quantity make a difference to the octane rating? No, it really doesn't, and Big Oil isn't paying me to say that. Even 30 ounces won't affect the octane rating in any meaningful way, and you're only getting fleeced, or perhaps making, a couple of pennies on your purchase. But there are some scenarios where it could, maybe, possibly matter if you are especially particular. One example I can think of is if you live in a region where premium gas is ethanol free, but the lower grades aren't, and you are hell bent on keeping that water absorbing corn juice out of your gas tank. Another, perhaps more reasonable scenario is a high performance motorcycle with a small tank, like a motocrosser. Those engines need premium gas in order to run safely, and 24 or 30 ounces of regular could account for as much as 10% of the total tank volume. To be clear, even in a dirt bike's two gallon tank, the octane rating is only going to drop by a few tenths. But if you are really and truly serious about getting the gas you want and only the gas you want, you do have a few options. One approach is to find a station that has pumps with separate hoses for each grade of gas. Problem solved. Another option is to linger around the gas station until someone pumps the grade of gas you want and then swoop in behind them. A less creepy strategy is to select the grade of gas you want and then prime the hose by pumping into a vehicle or a separate gas can and then filling your motorcycle. That's the approach that many folks use with outdoor power equipment, and I think it makes sense for dirt bikes and race bikes since they're often trailered. Finally, you could do what I do, which is nothing. I don't worry about the gas that's left in the hose, and neither should you. If you enjoyed that episode and want to learn more about gasoline, say whether or not your bike will benefit from high octane gas, scan the QR code on your screen or click the link down in the description. And if you're a fan of the shop manual, keep in mind that this, as well as all the other content we produce, is funded when you purchase from Revzilla. So the next time you need a piece of apparel or a part for your bike, please keep us in mind. Thanks.